your ideas help move this country. You are the American Innovator. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the American Innovator. You know, for the last couple weeks, we've been going over a series called Every 30 Days, a significant opportunity passes in front of every human being. Are you awake? You know, I've got a lot of great responses from people. I know last week we talked about climbing the crane. I actually showed a video. It was the first time on the American Innovator that we actually did a video radio show, if you will. And you know what? This week is no different. This week we're going to do something incredible. A good friend of mine, Jay DeBuehler, invited me to go on a road trip 1,200 miles across Washington, Oregon, and Idaho in our Porsche cars. Now, the story goes like this. About six years ago, I was invited by another friend to go to Porsche Driving School in Birmingham, Alabama. Now this is a very exclusive driving school where you really literally learn how to race cars and that's where I met Jay. We struck up a friendship and ever since then we've stayed in contact and now Jay and I have been back three different times and we've gone all the way to master's level in driving and racing. And it's really been a great experience. And for me, it's particularly unusual that I would get involved in this because I don't like to drive. I actually don't even care anything about cars. But when I went to Porsche driving about six years ago, I began to understand the incredible machine, the technology, and the innovation that goes in to building one of the finest cars in the world, and that's Porsche. And Porsche is really an awesome car. And once you drive one, you're kind of hooked because they are like nothing else. I know there are other great cars out there, but the Porsche is pretty special. It's really not a car. It's a race car with a license plate on it. So as a result, Jay has been bugging me to go on one of these road trips, which I've never been on before. And I finally acquiesced and said, yeah, Jay, I'll do it. So we took off four days, 1,200 miles, three states, about 10 hours of driving a day. And I'm telling you, I had the time of a lifetime. We took off driving to the Cascades. You just saw that beautiful scenery. And when Jay told me we were going to do this trip, I said, oh, man, I don't know if I want to drive for four hours. I get bored driving to work seven minutes. And I said, well, what kind of driving are we going to do? And he goes, well, you know, we're going to go on a lot of very remote roads, roads where you won't see anybody for hundreds of miles. And I said, is that possible? I didn't even know roads like this existed. But evidently, there's a whole network of these roads that are all over the country. And there are bike riders, uh, as in motorcycle riders and sports car drivers that know about these roads. They're kind of a secret. We really don't want to tell people about where they are because they're so special. And the roads are perfect. They're in incredible condition, pristine roads. And the beautiful thing about it, as you're driving through all these beautiful roads, you're seeing beautiful scenery. You're seeing Americana. This is Americana at its best. And it's just a special time. And so as Jay and I drove throughout the countryside through Washington, Oregon, and Idaho, as we'd see something beautiful, we'd just stop and enjoy God's wonderment, if you will. And it was just a fantastic time. So this is our second day. We're getting going here. We're leaving Moscow, Idaho. That's where we started off on our second day. And just, again, a fabulous time. Now, when I asked Jay about going on this trip, I said, Jay, you know, what's this trip going to be like? And he said, well, you know, we're going to go on all these remote roads. And I said, well, how fast are we going to be driving? He goes, well, you know, we go between 100 and 170, right around in there. And I go, are you kidding me? I mean, are we going to get tickets? And he goes, I've never got one yet. And I said, that doesn't sound right. How could that happen? And it's because we're in the middle of nowhere. And as we're driving down the road, I see this helicopter. And it was awesome. Watch what happens next. So I saw this helicopter come up from behind the knoll as I was driving down the road. And he was crop dust. I go, wow. And he's making these wild turns and sweeping corners. I go, man, this guy's a serious pilot. I ran up the side of the road, waved him down, drove up to the knoll where he was refueling and both getting the chemicals and the water and jet fuel drove up right underneath the helicopter. The guy was amazing. We got to know him. His name was Morgan, and he's just an awesome uh, pilot in Loman crop dusting. And it's really cool what he's done here. Basically, his trademark is low, slow, and accurate. And he does a better job than a typical crop duster because he flies so slow and he can do it so accurately. And it's just an amazing process, and we got to film the whole thing. And this was like uh, pure joy. Jay and I spent at least an hour here 
watching him flying in. We walked a few miles. RT wins. The right thing wins. If you do the right thing, you always win. If you do the wrong thing, you always get paid back. <laughs> advanced GPS system in the world that actually tracks and maps every time he pushes the button so he knows exactly where he is and even tells him it's a couple of feet off so he knows right when to press the button. So Morgan was just explaining to me that it's more efficient because they land on top of the truck and refuel and put the chemicals in so it's much more efficient than a plane that has to land and a lot of companies land on the ground but he built this truck as a helo pad and it makes it a lot more efficient you'll watch the landing right now it's got four thousand gallons of water and a thousand gallons of jet fuel to refuel all the time had a great time hanging out with Morgan and watching him fly and just watching this amazing pilot and the guys were just so cool they actually took the eye pole up on the platform and then filmed a close-in landing so you could really get the perspective of what was happening landing on top of a truck I mean this is pretty good piloting my new truck Bella come here do you like to go in the helicopter Bella come on Think. Do you think Bella is a pretty lucky dog? Morgan actually rescued Bella from the pound, and now she flies around in a million dollar helicopter. Imagine that. That's one lucky dog. Now, Morgan was so cool because he took the camera up into the cockpit so we could kind of feel and experience what it was like to actually do this low level crop dusting. And you can see here, man, this is awesome footage. And he just stopped and did all this, and here we were on the side of the road. This is one cool guy, and again, every 30 days, a significant opportunity passes in front of every human being. The question is, are you awake? I didn't even start this trip, and opportunities just kept unfolding in front of me, one after another, and meeting Morgan was certainly one of those. And now, being we're both pilots, obviously we have a lot in common. And we're actually going to fly together in the near future here. So, a great friendship was born, and just because being open to being outgoing and looking and observing and Morgan's hamming it up here for the camera. And then he comes back in for one more low approach so I could film him and look at this takeoff. Just incredible footage and we had a great time. We didn't want to leave basically. so cool because he let Morgan drive his Porsche Turbo Carrera. Man, it was just awesome. And we were on the road again and now we're down into Clarkston and Lewiston actually and the Spiral Highway. So we got a good look of the drive we were going to go down and this is world class driving here. And it was unbelievable, perfect roads again. 3,000 foot descent down into the valley and as soon as Jay and I got to the bottom we drove right back up and we drove up it and down it again. It was just so amazing to do this. Look at this great canoe uh, artwork. I stopped on the side of the road to take a look at this. The canoes. Did you see the canoes? Oh, come back. It's amazing. Don't worry. I'll find you. Stay put. This is cool. Wow. Now that is rock and roll good.
good. Pretty cool. So I caught up with Jay at the local Costco getting fuel and washing his windows. This is inside a turbo Carrera Porsche. There's a little button to push. This is inside a Boxster S. Quick stop at Costco to get our glasses clean. Yes. In Costco with all their wonderful children's paintings on the wall and pizza.